Hey guys, I wanted to explain why I installed Windows 7 on my SSD versus XP to do my test. The main logical reason for me installing Windows 7 on my solid state drive in the computer right here is because I don't see why you would even want XP anymore, personally. I've never had any trouble with Windows 7 on my computer right here. I've had Windows 7 for like two years now, I don't whenever it came out is when I had Windows 7 on that computer. And I've never had any trouble with it, and there's no reason for me to put XP back on this computer, because frankly, XP kept on giving me problems, like drivers would not work with like my graphics card kept on crashing because XP it was too new for XP and everything else and it's just I see no reason to put old hardware or old software with new hardware that just makes compatibility issues and just gives problems all around another reason is like XP does not have trim support for SSDs and that's bad because then your SSD you might get hurt in the process of using it it won't be last as long as if you have Windows 7 with trim support. You do not want to defrag it and all this stuff and whatever trim does, all this stuff in the background that Windows 7 supports and XP does not. And that's good to have trim support on the SSD, otherwise you're almost wasting your money to put XP back on it. And to be frank with you, it would have been a total waste of my time to install XP, then reinstall Windows 7 again on the solid state drive because in all seriousness, I've installed XP and Windows 7 so many times, I've seen the performance difference on both drives, I've even installed Windows 7 on a pre-release beta of it on that other hard drive, the regular 7200 RPM drive, and it's really not any faster, it probably is actually a slower boot time than what I had from Windows XP and everything else. Windows 7 Re has more processes run and everything else. And it's really not a faster boot time than whatever XP was for booting up. I know you guys complain about not having an equal test between it, but if I just I'm just gonna straight tell you, you it's not smart at all. I just it's a very bad decision and everything else to put XP back on a solid state drive if you were to buy one. You're just wasting your money. Buy Windows 7 before you buy a solid state, reinstall that or buy both, save up, buy both. There is no reason to put XP back onto a solid state drive. And I, I, it just, I, I don't know. It just distresses me that somebody would even want to put XP back on a solid state drive. There's no point in upgrading. My point of this whole video was to show you, you have an old four or five year old desktop. It's getting slow. You don't know how to speed it up. I tell you, well, get 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 an SSD and get Windows 7 because this is how much faster your computer is going to be versus your old slow Windows XP computer. You might as well upgrade Windows 7 plus the SSD to your new computer, have a much faster overall experience, have a better operating system, better compatibility, everything is better with Windows 7 and an SSD. And I see no reason why you would ever want to keep with XP, no offense, but if you really have to have compatibility, Windows Professional 64 bit and Windows Ultimate have virtualization built into it. As long as your processor supports it, you can virtualize when there's XP. I've tried it once, I've actually I bought Professional because I thought I was gonna have to virtualize, never have, never will, never will need to because every program I've used, even old programs from like early 2000s, like. Or still work with Windows 7. Maybe some in compatibility mode, but they still work when Windows 7. The only things I've had yet to work are a few programs from the 90s, and you really can't expect 90s software to work with like 2007 software. So that's really why I installed Windows 7. I just wanted to explain clearly to you in video form instead of like chatting back on text and rage comments and everything else why I decided to install Windows 7, not even do the correct Windows XP versus Windows XP test, solid state versus the old drive, because 
there's no point at all installing XP on the solid state drives because you're just wasting your time. Your solid state's not going to last long, it's going to slow down, Shen helps keep the speed up, everything else. And with a solid state, your performance doesn't die. So like, a fresh install, I did this test two weeks after I did an install, so it's not a fresh install of Windows 7 in that test. It is a used install, the boot time did slow down, it was considerably faster when I first installed. After having startup programs installed and everything else, it slowed down, and it has yet. I've rebooted it twice because I keep this computer on most of the time, this one on, I keep it on most of the time. I've rebooted it like four or five times, has not slowed down, computer has not slowed down, everything opens perfectly quickly on it, and everything else, and that's why I wanted a solid state in it, because I was tired of the slow performance I got with my other drive. Even though Windows XP uses less resources, it doesn't matter, a solid state is just faster overall. I hope this answers some of your questions about that video and I hope it makes you understand why I did what I did and that I do know what I'm talking about and that it's better just to install Windows, X Windows 7 over Windows XP. Just wanted to clear that up and I'll see you in the next video.